What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. In today's video, we're talking about downgrading, especially for legacy devices. If you have one of those around and you want to play around with it and have some fun, a brand new tool dropped that allows you to go back to iOS 4.3 on certain iPads. We want to get into that in a second. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows you to easily get back into your device if you forgot your password or your numeric code and stuff like that. It can reset your device and bring you back to the activation screen so you can put your Apple ID and password and get back access to the device. It can reset the screen time passcode if you don't remember it anymore and it can even help with activation lock if you bought a second-hand device that turns out to be locked and you got scammed. So a brand new tool called 4.3 for iPad 2 has been released and this one is a dual boot utility which allows you to essentially downgrade but more like dual boot your iPad 2 to any iOS 4.3.x version. This one was actually published here on GitHub and you have full instructions on how to use this, you know, to restore the partition and then reinstall the 4.3 version with the 4.3 app and of course this is now part of the legacy iOS kit a huge kit over here by Luke ZJD and uh, this one contains a lot of tools and utilities for 32-bit devices and even for some 64-bit devices that are now considered legacy by today's standards if you have one of these around and you want to play with it instead of letting it sit in a drawer having the battery getting degraded because you're not charging it these tools over here could actually give you some fun including 4.3 which allows you to dual boot back to iOS 4.3.0 Many people actually loved the iOS 4, iOS 5, iOS 6 era because of the design and whatever. So if you want to relive it and if you want to check it out again and, you know, just have some fun with a device that is otherwise useless, these tools in here would provide that. Now the 4.3 utility, as I said, you can find it in the legacy iOS kit. So you would go here to the releases and you would have to get the version for your device, being it Mac OS or Linux or whatever. But definitely an interesting tool and I thought I should mention it because I know many of you still have those devices laying around, so why not? Definitely check it out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I'm Geo Snow. Peace out.